This dozer blade extension was the first attachment pretty much that I ever made for my machine. I didn't really know what I was doing and so I had to figure things out along the way. I knew that I wanted something that would curl stone up and forward because the blade that comes on these machines is just so short that everything falls over into the back and it doesn't work really well it's a real pain. So what I did is I started out by taking a piece of plywood, held it up to my plow blade, and I accounted for this piece here where the steel sticks out, and I basically traced all of this line here. And I knew that I would need to have a way to take it on and off easily, so I had to add some holes for the pins to go in and lock everything together. So once I had this made into a wooden template, complete with the holes, I then took that and I laid it up against another piece of plywood to figure out how I wanted things to curl. And you can see I was able to transfer everything from here onto the next template that I made. And so for the next template, I decided what kind of a curl I wanted to give it and then did the same for the opposite end but I was concerned that probably if I'm pushing with all the force that a machine like this has I'd be bending things so I ended up adding a piece of angle iron for reinforcement at the top and these support legs that come back and rest on the machine itself. So it transfers all of that force directly to this plate steel. I've got these braces here in the middle so that when I do push, that presses right here, takes all the load, transfers it down to the steel plate, keeping everything very rigid and very secure. And that together has held up really well. Um, you can see around here the kind of rocks that I move and they're big, okay? And when I'm pushing on it, um, you would think anything else would probably break under that kind of strain.